Hi there, here's another update on my blind man combat system. Uh, I did a lot of changes between the last iteration and this one, so I thought I'd talk during this video. Um, for the most part, the controls stayed the same. I took out lock-on because it was kind of deprecated. Um, also, with uh, auto-lock being as strong as it is now, it's not really a reason to have hard lock-on, so I just removed it. Um, besides that, controls are largely the same. Here's mouse and keyboard. And here's a how to play screen. Uh, they're tutorials, so I'm not going to pause on this for too long. If you'd like to see it, you can pause and read through it. But um, tutorials cover the majority of this. Let me just check my graphics options. Let me bump it down to low to be sure it's good. Alright, so one of the major things I did is I reworked tutorials. Because in playtests, I found that if somebody stuck with the system long enough, stuck with the game long enough, they understand it and they enjoyed it. But it was just learning how to play the game was kind of a slog for some people. So I went through and I uh, reworked some of my tutorials. I made it, I split up some sections so I don't, wouldn't just uh, cover too many things at once. And I would split some of the tutorials up between different waves. So here's the one that explains the light combos. And here's the break balance tutorial. And there's now a separate tutorial for the acrobat combo here. And another thing I did here was uh, one of the biggest changes was that I reworked the defense options uh, canceling permissions. So before you had to land an attack before you could cancel into um, a counter or a dodge. Um, but for guarding, you had to be in neutral. Basically, you had to be doing absolutely nothing. Um, so because of that, it, because it wasn't as immediate, players didn't really like doing it. So what I did was I gave the same canceling permission as counter. So now once you land an attack, you can cancel into any one of your defense options. So you can go into a counter, you can go into a dodge, or you can go straight into guard. Um, and that kind of messed up my risk reward a bit, but I kind of tweaked some of the enemies a bit so it makes it a little bit more punishing to guard. Um, so you can see here now I just landed an attack, so now I can dodge. Another big part of it, um, big change I did was the um, counter conveyance. But before, the idea was that the players were to guard to learn the counter timings. But since players didn't like to guard, they didn't really learn counter timings, and so they didn't really counter. But counter is kind of like the meat and potatoes of the defense options of the game. So if you don't do that, um, the kind of the pacing of the game um, kind of deteriorates because the pacing is kind of hinged around countering and keeping up with that. Um, so what I did was, I, you can see here, there's a little bit of an outline around the enemies there. And there's now these two bars above um, what the, uh, the attack orientation is. Um, so what happens is whenever a player, whenever the enemy goes to attack, um, they will flash the color of their attack type. So white if it's a standard attack, yellow if it's unblockable, red if it's uncounterable. Um, and then those two bars appear near the attack orientation um, at the same time that the, uh, the outline appears so that you know that this is the time to counter. This is the time to dodge. This is time to do your defense option. And if you do it at this point in time, it's guaranteed to um, work, right? So you're guaranteed to get that dodge, get that counter. As you can see, our first triangle looks now it's glowing, and I get the counter. I also added more tutorial ways. Before it was just those two enemies and then straight into the standard ways, but um, I felt I needed more uh, spacing and time to do something. So, is break balance. Another thing we noticed is that I, uh, I noticed that players don't like to read. I should have known I don't like to read either. <laughs> so, uh, what I did was I made it tutorial blurb is more easily to parse, easy to parse. So, you can see here it says, you know, balance broken is red, it's um, a different font, so you can see that, ah, that's the important thing. So you can just read those lines and understand what it's trying to tell you. So it says, balance broken, can't move or use acrobat attacks, full combo sweep or defeat an enemy. So it tells you what it is, um, what happens in this state, and what you should be doing while you're in this state. Here's momentum here. So it says momentum, entering acrobat mode, enter acrobat mode. Um, then attacking, guarding, or use break balance for enhanced versions. And it says hold R2 to enter acrobat mode.
is the last tutorial wave here. And it's oriented. So it's oriented, can't dodge safely or use acrobat attacks, and avoid attacks or counter and keep attacking to increase the radius faster. You know, the sword enemy here. Sword enemy hasn't changed in multiple iterations. Um, it's still the enemy that gets a player to stop guarding because it has um, uh, chip damage on his sword attacks, and then the last uh, sword attack is unblockable. So if you just try guarding everything, it's going to hit you, right? And it'll take damage just from guarding their attacks. So you always want to be sure to, to counter that last attack. Now the shield enemy here. Shield enemy, of course, blocks attacks. Um, you got to use acrobat attacks to break their guard, um, or you can punish their attack orientation. Whenever they go to attack, they have two different attacks they can do. They have a, a high attack and a low attack. Um, acrobat attacks beat the lows and the sweep beat the highs. So let you see that here in a second. Whenever it attacks me, so there's a low. I go over it. a high, go under it, dodge that one, I even break their guard, and kill them apparently. The thing about the attack orientation is it's not something the player has to do, um, it just keeps the, um, keeps in line with the uh, whole idea of keep attacking if you're good enough. So uh, a basic level player need not concern themselves with it, but a high level player is just a way for them just to uh, keep up their momentum. That almost hit me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Wasn't sure. And these are the disorient hazards. Represents a sound or a sensation that's just too um, uh, loud or obnoxious for the person that's using basically every other sense but sight to perceive their world. So if you, while you're in this, you take focus damage. And you have another big update for the system, which is the the heavy enemy. Heavy enemy is like the first truly annoying enemy, because uh, every other enemy in the game, they're kind of there for like a, a purpose, you know, like the basic enemy is just there kind of just for fodder. The sword enemy gets you to stop guarding, and the shield enemy gets you to mix up your defense options. But the heavy enemy is here specifically just to ruin your day. And I'll trigger the tutorial here in a second. So heavy enemies, um, they counterattack when they're not balance broken, and they can't be knocked down. They can't be put on their back or knocked through the air or anything like that. They just, they're just always a stalwart thing. Um, and in order to actually break their balance, you either have to sweep them, which is slow and you can't combo off it easily, or you have to hit them during their attack recovery um, to make them vulnerable to break balance. Um, and you'll see here I hit them, so now they're starting their counterattack, and they have two different counterattacks. They have a low, and then they have a, um, a mid. So of course it's low, so I can go over it. And then I get low again. Yeah, there's a low and then there's a mid. The the mid is fast, so you have to counter it immediately, but the, the low is slower, so if you try to counter it um, immediately like you would if it were a mid, you'd get hit by it. I dodge his attack and punish him. Ah, 
always gets me. Just come out the darkness and just break balance every time. <laughs> Also, I did more tutorial ways. Before I ended in like wave like six or seven, but now there's wave ends at wave eight. Or not tutorial ways, just standard ways. Ah, break balance. It's nothing about the heavy enemy is that because they have um they have two combo strings, but they start with the same attack, so they have kind of have like this this whole like mix up things going on, where it's like counter attack has two different styles, and their basic attack, their basic combos have two different um, variations of it. So it's like it always forces you to keep on keep you on your toes. But you never really know what they're gonna do. Oh, that got me. Get rid of you. I have the chance. I thought I can go for the break balance there, and you didn't. After that time. There's the mid. And see, I tried to counter it like it was the mid there, and it didn't go because it's slow. It's simple, but it's actually really effective. <laughs> That's where the majority of my damage comes from, is trying to counter something, thinking it's a mid, but it's the low that comes out. So it's working as intended. Because if I get hit by it, you know other players are going to get hit by it, because, of course, I made the system. Something I like about the heavy enemy too is it has, has this um, nice back and forth to it. Where it's like every enemy will kind of just keep getting hit, keep getting hits done. But the heavy enemy kind of have this, this nice back and forth, really like. Alright, last wave here. Start out disoriented to make it a little fun here. Uh, every time. Not this time. Nope. Ah. Got greedy there. I'm gonna start going over those. That'd be a good idea. Ah. Go under that one. So many places I can't hit. <laughs> Get rid of these guys. All right, just the big guys left. Ah, oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Break balance? No. Nine. There we go. So you see the system's coming along nicely. Um, really liking the heavy enemy. Really liking what it does to the game. Um, and the um, counter system 
the new conveyance really helps it uh, really helps it shine. I really like the outline on the enemies there because I don't have to. I didn't want a counter system where um, it, you just have to look at you know the symbol above their heads and press the press it when that comes up. So I, I really I'm, I'm liking the um, um, the outline around that and how that improves the conveyance and that should make it easier for players to um, counter. Um, because that's, that's what some people were requesting was more of that. And um, yeah, the system's coming along nicely. I will have one more update, I think, until I'm finished. Um, that update is going to be more of a, I don't know to the game mode, make it more of a, well, a game. Um, and then I'm adding another stage, but I have to do some more lighting tests on it. Because um, it's, it's a pretty dark one, so I want to see if the heavy enemy um, is actually visible in that. Um, but besides that, I might add one more enemy, maybe. But yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.